Hey Magic fans, welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG and today we're doing investment potential of Double Masters 2022. If you haven't seen this giant shellacking that came out of Wizards of the Coast, boy you ain't living. So, before we get started, remember like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, comments down below, fees YouTube algorithm, try and get to a thousand subscribers, help me out, but let's get started. Um... So, the biggest case of FOMO, probably known to man, is Double Masters 2022. So, as you can see, as the filming of this video, which is uh, 720, uh, Double Masters collector boxes are going for $319.87 with shipping. Uh, so, after tax, probably $340, $350 out the door. Um... How insane is that? Well, it's four packs, uh, and it's absurd. And here's why. So, a lot of people didn't realize when these came out. You know, the original VIP packs from the first Double Masters, one pack was fifty bucks. I'm sorry, it was a hundred dollars uh, for kind of the same thing you get in this, but you get a box with four in it. So, it should be four hundred dollars, especially since you have a chance at better cards. Uh, and I don't mean just better printed cards. I mean better a chance at better cards, period. In VIP, you were basically, you could get two Mythics, two Rares, that's it. In these packs, you can pull as many as four Mythics out of a pack if you get really lucky. But that still means that if these were priced the same as the old VIP, which let's say we go back with where well, they were stuck at $90 for a while, that still means these should be 360 So... With that said, what's the market look like? Well, if you kind of slide down here on TCG Player and take a little look at it. So they came out at 400 which I think was the proper pricing for what it meant. And because of all the negativity and all the bad stuff that's going on and how much people are so mad at Magic, it plummeted all the way down to here to 245 Yep, that's the lowest, I think. 245.86. Basically... At this price, you're looking at $60 a pack. And everybody was still mad and huffing and puffing. And then guess what happened? Preview season. And people started finding out, wow, these cards are dope. And the price quickly climbed back up to 287 People got mad. Things got canceled. They said it was a bubble, so it slowly went back down to 261 and then it started coming out. People couldn't get it. There's not going to be another reprint. And whoop, all the way back up to 323 a box. I still think these are underpriced. Uh, and I'll tell you why here in a minute. But that's currently where the price is. So right now, there's 54 listings on TCG Player. With the cheapest being the one you're looking at right here at 319 um, 87 before tax plus shipping. So if you go over here and you look, the market price is sitting at almost 350, or I'm sorry, 326. The listed median price is around 350. There's people buying these things as of today for 324, 315. And if you scroll down here and take a look, the cheapest ones you're gonna get is around 320. I mean, there's a couple right here, but let's be honest. The thing about this, here's one guy has got 26. I find that hard to believe, but who knows? This this guy's got 45. Again, hard to believe, but who knows? Um, and I only say that because this product was so hard to get that most places couldn't get large quantities of it. And how do I know that? Well, probably has something to do with everybody on uh, Reddit and everywhere else in God's Green Earth complaining because their Amazon order got canceled. Canceled. That's right. Direct from Amazon, from Wizards, two people, the best way to make a profit, it was canceling orders because of the massive sale. So, with that said, these prices are just going to go up. And even, for example, like when we get up to 26 and to 45, you're talking 324. So even if they do have these many boxes, they're not selling them cheap. So we're talking at its lowest this box value has already went from 245 up to 325 almost a hundred dollar increase for a brand new product that was just released how insane is that 
Now, a lot of that comes from things like textured foils, full arts, and amazing reprint, reprints packed into something phenomenal. So, why is it worth that kind of money? Well, let's take a quick look at the kind of things you can get. For example, when my computer loads, Renin 6, textured foil. Yeah, it's not $1,000 anymore. It's only 362 The textured foil Colazac. It's not $1,000 anymore. It's only 277 Imperial Seal Foil Etched. Not textured. Foil Etched. $314. Liliana Textured Foil. You can't see it. It's uh, it's way over here. Uh, 289 only. 169 Emmercool. Dockside Extortionist, 170. 178 for Borderless Imperial Seal. Textured Foil Ulamog, 235. Regular Imperial Seal, not foil. Regular, 138. Full Etched Vault, 139. 129 Renin 6. Cavernous Souls, 110. Regular Borderless Cavernous Souls, 79. I mean, we're talking about some serious cash. Now, mind you, these cards here are above the $50 to $80 range. And most of them aren't even foil price. Like this thing in foil? Yeah, let's take a look at this thing in foil. $260. You see this? $260. Other things that are not textured foils that you can get a hold of. Uh, for example, the regular Imperial Seal. $189 if you happen to pull a foil mythic. Like the kind of cards that you can pull is absurd just absurd uh for example renin six borderless not textured just regular foil 134 we're talking that you could grab cards out of these packs that could literally pay for the entire box on a good pull at 300 plus dollars that is insane so is this worth the money Heck yeah, it is. I mean, look at these cards, for the love of God. It's absurd, and I don't know what else to say about it. And if you think that's bad, that's just the Double Masters collector box. Let's take a look at, you kind of you can't see it over here, but let's take a look at the draft box. How's it doing? Not good, right? Wrong. This thing is more absurd. They're going for $339.97, basically $340 with shipping, not including tax. So after tax, you're looking at like $380. You might as well say it's a $400 box. It's only 18 bo or 24, 24 booster packs, but the reprints are just too absurd. Again, let's take another look. Came out, they priced them around almost where they are right now, $360 or $370, because everybody's like, oh, it's going to be great. And then again... The naysayers came in, people are talking smack, and do, 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 all the way down to 271. Now, this is 271 TCG player. On Amazon, if you watch my previous videos, these things were going for like 225, which is even more absurd because then preview season started and people went, hold my beer, and blam, 379. And then it slowly came back down as more came to the market. But now we're starting to stabilize around 340 And if you think about the previous price, and right now it's 340 that's a $70 increase of a brand new product. That's free attendees like we haven't seen in two years. And, and if you got on Amazon and got lucky and they sent you a box, 225 plus shipping out the door, what a deal. If you did 225 and this thing is going for this, you made over $120, almost double your money. And this product's just going to go up because these cards are absurd. Again, they're not going to do a reprint. Everybody's talking about how they're going to do a reprint. They're going to redump it in the market and blah, blah, blah. I hate to break it to you. Not going to happen. It's a premier product. And even if they did do a reprint, which I don't think they will, the collector boxes won't get a reprint where you get all the cool stuff. So those are just going to keep going up until they're insane prices. Look at first double masters. Those boxes are close to 700 to 1,000. They're barely a couple years old. The VIP packs that started out at $90 that nobody wanted to buy because they were like, oh, I ain't paying money for that, are close to 200 if not more. They've doubled in price. It's insane. This was the biggest FOMO moment of everybody's life. And because of that, like I talked about with Dominaria, people, there's going to be two camps again. People are going to say, 
oh, Dominary is going to suck. Don't buy it. And then people are going to be like, oh, it's like Double Masters. I got to buy it. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that plays out in the long run on whether or not people buy a bunch or they don't buy it. And then what does it end up being? Like I mentioned before, this could very well be, oh, look, it's it's Dominary United, the, the next new Capenna. Wah, wah. Or it could very well be, oh, Dominary United. Oh, my God, it's like Double Masters. So, and I'm really leaning toward more like Double Masters because it's Dominaria. We know it's a set full of legends, and they've already talked about being a legend in every pack. And that's automatically going to target commander players like this product does, which I think is going to make that product just a home run. I don't know what else to say. What do you want from me? <laughs> I, just, I mean, yeah, there's 62 listings on here, but none of them are below 339, and nobody is going to go to any lower than that. This is just so absurd the kind of cards you can get out of this. So if you didn't get in on it, shame on you. This goes to show sometimes magic and wizards can do it right. However, it is once in a blue moon, you know, kind of one of those, you know, light shines on a dog's butt every now and then. But this was it. It should have been there. It's a good time. So with that said, check out the videos. I opened a couple of collector boxes on my channel. Uh, so you can see the price that came out of them. They weren't even good boxes, and they were still obscene. Not going to lie. <laughs> That's just how that went down. Now, also with that said, especially with the collector boxes, be careful. If you are not, uh, if you buy a case of collector boxes, you get a texture foil. Uh, if you buy individual boxes, I'm pretty sure that there's going to be places out there that are going to crack these boxes of eight for as far as uh, collector boxes go. As soon as they hit that one textured foil, they're going to take the rest of the boxes and they're going to sell them to everybody else. I know it's shitty. I know that sounds very pessimistic of me. I'm just being honest. If you ain't buying by the case, don't expect a textured foil. Now, luckily, there are cards that are just as good as textured foils. Um, so hopefully they don't try to scam people like that because some of these cards are just insane. I don't know what else to say. So there you have it, everybody. Would you invest in this product? Yes, I would. Did I invest in this product? Yes, I did. Uh, would I buy it at this price? Only if I hadn't bought it before. And I only say that because I don't see this going down. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if you're saying I'll wait to the dip to buy, there's not going to be a dip, guys. And here's why. Because if there's a dip, I'm going to buy it. And that's what everybody else is thinking, which is going to keep this price from going down. Because the minute it recedes just a little bit, people are going to jump on the bandwagon. So the guys that want to hold on to is going to get what they want out of it. And the only ones that aren't are the ones who can't hold that money uh, and invest in it. And they just want to flip for a couple bucks. So more power to them. But I think at the end of the day, this box easily is going to settle around $400 uh, before the end of the year. Probably closer to five. And I think the collector box is probably going to be around $750. I don't know. You ain't got to like it. I'm just being honest. So with all that said, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, be kind. And as always, I hope to see you across from the game table. Good God, this is an absurd set. Can't tell you what. Mm -mm. Gen Con.